Hello and welcome to the Jonathan Acuna Show. This is probably my 14th take on this, but today we're gonna learn how to turn Notion into your CRM using t using templates to get you started. Really, it's gonna be super easy. But before we dive into that, let's let's zoom out a little bit. Let's go over what is a CRM. Why do we want to use Notion as a CRM? Let's talk about the pros and cons about using Notion as a CRM, and then I'll get into a demo. I'll demo a sales CRM, a personal CRM, and then I found this advanced CRM online that's like really nice because then you can see like what basic looks like and then what super advanced like in Notion looks like. Um, so let's dive into it. Let's start off. What is a CRM? So a CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management. It's an, app, it's an app that keeps a whole bunch of very important lists for your business. I'm talking list of all your contacts, accounts, your activity, all your opportunities, um, all of that information is in a CRM. And that's it. So like, why do we need to use it? It's like a CRM is really gonna help you drive up your customer retention and even increase your sales. Like say for example, Salesforce says on their website that you can increase your sales by 37% just by implementing a CRM. But at the end of the day, a CRM is really just gonna help you improve your bottom line. It's gonna streamline your sales and it's gonna grow revenue. That's its purpose. All by helping you to nurture and grow your relationships with all your customers and your leads. So. You, every business needs a CRM. Now, ev everyone's business is different and every CRM is different. They're not all the same. So the next thing we want to talk about is why use Notion as a CRM? So this is more of like, where are you coming from as a business, business owner? Um, you're probably coming from not having CRM, which is okay. You're also coming from probably some other tech stack there, other tool that you're using, something like Google Sheets or Excel or like Docs, um, something like that. And you're like, I need something with a little more, a little more power and superpower within. You're like, I heard Notion and Notion is a great way to level up from like Google Sheets to, um, or a document, uh, or if you're using nothing to like start using a CRM for your business so reasons why we want to use notion you're probably already using it in your tech stack um, it's super cheap um, but considering like CRMs they start at like 20 bucks a month um, so for fully right out of the out of the box already built ready to go you can start using all the features um, so there, I don't know much about the price difference I mean 20 bucks a month versus five or ten bucks a month with this like notion so you're not looking at that much of a difference uh, for the amount of work that you're gonna put in in customizing and managing it so that's why I would I mean why would you want to use notion it's affordable you're already using your tech stack and it's very flexible um, because you could customize everything about it but that's gonna lead us into the pros and cons by trade, I'm a senior Salesforce administrator, uh, so I build and customize uh, Salesforce uh, for enterprise organizations. Um, so I take Salesforce and I rip it apart, customize it for every unique business process to make sure the companies gain the most out of it. So like what the pros are for sale, pros are for using Notion as your CRM, there's lots of templates already out there. Some are basic, some are advanced, so those are gonna be great to get you started. Um, second, Pro is the is affordability is probably the most affordable. It's not specifically designed as a CRM or marketed as a CRM. Um, that's why it's so affordable. Um, the CRMs are usually go from like twenty bucks and up, starting from there. Um, so it's not at, it's not in the CRM camp. Um, but you could customize it and have templates that could use all the functionality of a CRM per se. Um, let's talk about the cons. <laughs> the cons are you're gonna have to build everything from scratch. You could use the templates, they're great, but as I mentioned, there's so much that goes into building a CRM. You have list of your accounts, contacts, activity log, your opportunities, your sales dashboard, your sales team, your quotas, like all of that um, is just the data tech stack, just just the data set, um, the, the list um, that go into. Um, and so, the cons are is you're going to be building everything from scratch um, and unless you know what a CRM uh, looks like it does it's going to be a little difficult to know what you're missing or man things are going to be difficult and you'll be like I wish there was an easier way and there probably is already built in the CRM tools per se um, the other thing is that 
your business is unique and you're going to be tailoring your CRM to your business. And so that's going to require also a lot of work with notion. It's even more work because you're building everything from scratch. <laughs> um, two other big cons or three big cons, like one lack of automation. There's no automation for, um, any automation and a lot of what the CRMs are powerful for a lot of what my job is doing is building automation to make sales team two, three, five, ten 10 X more productive. But I'm doing that because of the automation tools in a CRM like Salesforce or HubSpot, for example, they have really powerful automation tools to unlock incredible amounts of productivity for your team. You're not going to get any of that in, in notion, unfortunately. Um, the, oh, integration. Integration is going to hurt you, um, especially integration with your email. You need it if you do any email conversations with your uh, leads to nurture them. Um, and then also even conversations too. Um, and then also integration. Yeah, anytime you, you, you can use, like you're going to have to integrate Notion with your lead form on your website. And yeah, you can use hacks and you can use third-party uh, form software and Zapier, but as soon as you start, you start getting into these hacks immediately, you start, uh, creating what I call technical debt, which leads us into the next one. If you use CRM and you're looking to grow your business, I mean, you're looking to make 10, 20, a hundred K a month, even more like you're going to need a dedicated CRM, uh, for it. And if you start using notion, understand that as the, as you continue to use Notion, you're going to incur technical debt, meaning you're eventually going to have to grow into a new uh, software to grow as your scale in business is growing and scaling. And so you're going to have to redo all of that work, all the customization, all the work, all the all the customization. You have to redo all of it again. And that's technical debt. And so if you can't afford for your business to be down for one or three months, uh, you might want to invest in one of the other tools that's tailored and could help grow as your business grows. But if you're small, um, it's going to be great starting off um, and you're staying lean. Uh, just know that it's going to be, you're going to incur technical debt. And my last one, which is probably also the most important is lack of reporting. You need to keep track of your sales numbers, your activity, your sales, your quota, how many new leads are you getting a month? How many are you churning through? How many deals did you close win? How many deals did you close lose? Which products are selling well? Which of your customer, which, which of your sales reps are uh, performing more? Which of your sales reps are underperforming? Have any of your sales, are all your sales reps on track to hit quota for this quarter, for example? You're not gonna get any of those questions. As a manager or business owner, you won't be able to get any of those answers to those questions in real time using Notion. Um, but there are tools, Pipedrive, Pipe Drive, HubSpot, Salesforce, they all come with um, amazing dashboards that like this, for example, like it's already going to tell you your deals over time. It's going to tell you how many deals you have in progress, how many, what's your conversion rate, how many have you started, how many have you won so far. So like dashboards and reporting is a crucial function for managing your sales pipeline, which is the lifeblood of your business. <laughs> and so Notion is not the best for dashboarding. They don't have any dashboarding reporting, unfortunately. And so that's where it's going to be a little, you're handicapped, unfortunately. So that's why a lot of the tools, a lot of, they segue into this last part of like all in one tools versus build a tech stack. These all in one tools understand if you're an app, that's everything to everyone. <laughs> you promise nothing to no one for your business. Like you, if this is an app that you need to grow and drive your sales, there are specific apps to grow and drive your sales. So each of your business is broken up into departments, sales, HR, marketing, and they use dedicated apps that are specialized for to unlock productivity, to unlock growth. Um, they're highly tailored for that workflow. And so that's the unique thing about choosing an all-in-one tool versus building your tech stack or finding a dedicated CRM tool, for example. But let's, for example, let's dive right into a demo, for example. So the two demos, uh, first one is going to be this sales CRM that you could get. So I'm a sales rep, for example, and uh, it could be anything from real estate, for example. Um, so you would use this template you, and all the template links will be down uh, in the description below. They come from Notion, so they're free, they're secure, and they've been tested. Um, so all you're going to do is just duplicate this into your uh, Notion workspace, which I did, so we can play around with it and take a look at it. So what are the elements here? This one is a very basic CRM because it's just going to give you visibility of your contacts, uh, pretty much. 
So just a list of them, your leads, the status and opportunity. You can change this into a pipeline for all records look, using like a Kanban board um, where you can move these to your different stages, which is very nice and very easy. So here you can see a pipeline of Mary. She works at this company. This estimated opportunity is worth $200,000. There's her email. So you get all of this information. You could customize. All of this is customized. Um, and so you can see how many deals are going to be in your qualify stage versus how many when you move over to your proposal. Um, you'll see it update too. So this has a lot of like customized features, like all of these features up here. All of these fields, someone was very nice enough to build an ad for you because they're like, hey, if you're building a contact, you probably need their phone number. You probably need their email. And so they knew what was missing, so they added these. And so these are just helpful. I mean, it's, it's a great way to get started for organizing your contacts and deals. If you're a solopreneur or a small business owner and you want to manually keep track of all your sales and pipeline, this one ser this one CRM and template is, gonna, is a great way to start off at. Um, I'm going to show the, let's, let's show an advanced one, um, cause everyone's a personal CRM. So the advanced one comes from, uh, a notioneer. And so a notioneer, they're a consultant, um, and they have this amazing advanced CRM. And so if you're like, what does a advanced CRM look like for notion? Like this is amazing. And you could buy this too. Um, so you're going to be building out like all your workflows, your tools, here's your pipeline for opportunities. You're going to have all your sales. They built the dashboard. It's, it, I mean, it's amazing how much work and time and effort was built into customizing and building out. But this is everyday products, individuals. It's like, um, I believe what they do is look at Salesforce and say, okay, how could we replicate Salesforce in notion? And they successfully did just know that this is manual and this is a lot of work to manually update, but it gives you one page view, a 10,000 foot view of your entire business and sales, um, which is incredibly streamlined. You'll have your people, company sales, products, meetings, everything will be in one place. And it's a great place for your team, your, your whole organization to, um, say in one place for all for everything about sales and know what's going on it's amazing it's really great it's affordable too so i highly recommend you could buy temp you could get free templates but i would buy templates um just because what they're going to do is they're going to save you development time hours from building this from scratch but just know that not all templates will fit your needs so it will require some some customizing that leads us into a personal CRM. I have a personal CRM and this has been amazing. Every person I meet, I put them in my personal CRM the second I meet them. And then I also add a note of like context, where did I meet them? Uh, and then are they friend, family, whatever. And so that it's been amazing to go back to the next day and be like, oh, hey, Bob, how's it going? And you'd be like, how do you remember my name? Um, your name again? I'll be like, oh, Jonathan. And you're like, yeah, Jonathan, man, I got remembers everything. How does he? I don't. CRM, life hack. It's amazing. This thing is so simple and great. So let's dive into a personal CRM. You don't have to get this complicated. Mine is super basic and simple. Like mine is just pretty much basically um, the contacts and then um, like a tag association, like, and then notes. Um, super simple. I like gutted this and made it very simple but we can see here that they've customized this personal crm and give you some really cool features for example they can see here they added um if you enter the date that you last contacted them let's see i'm gonna change this to nah if you changed it to a, any other date then it will also update this is a formula so you could write for, don't get intimidated. Formulas in Notion are actually very easy to write. Um, it's a great way to get in, introduced to like coding. You're basically coding. Uh, it's very powerful. Um, but here you can see like, okay, if the date is between now and when was this date? So if it's between now and January 29th, and then let's look at the months. Has If it's less than three months, um, then we want to show the text uh, time to reach out. But if it's... Um, Greater than three months, then be like, okay, you've contacted them. So this is kind of helping you look at the date and show a if then statement to show you how you, you can show text. But again, you have to build and customize all this from scratch. And then coming down, 
here they made a nice template for you to even keep importing information about um, this person address family member likes and stuff like this um, pro tip if you're a sales rep and you want to you're like what description do they have for like the sales rep we can actually take a look um, so they have background and so here history of interactions this is important as a sales rep you should be logging every activity every activity every activity every activity i'll say again every activity <laughs> and so notion is great it's a little manual but the other tools uh, will automatically log for you which is super helpful uh, text phone calls emails they will auto log all of that for you to help you stay on top of did i email them last week did i call them last yesterday how many when was the last time i talked to this contact for example but pro tip um if you're looking for like questions and stuff to put in here as a sales rep to be like, what should I know about my customer? I heart, I highly recommend looking at the, I think it's McKay 66, Mackie 66 customer profile, Ooh, even HubSpot. Uh, this are 66 questions that you should know about uh, your customer uh, or client or lead. And if you know this before you go into um, the next conversation, like you will be prepared. And so this comes from an amazing gentleman called, oh man, I hope, there we go. Harvey McKay, McKay, McKay. He is, oh my gosh, this guy, motivational speaker, like businessman, sales rep, like, you, like this guy, read any books, read it like, I just downloaded one of his great audiobooks on there. Um, it's one of his last speeches, but those are just pro tip there for the sales rep. But jumping back, back to a personal CRM, these are just placeholders to help you remember important information about the people in your life there. But we can see here, it's a great list. It's, it's flexible. I mean, what you see here will also see on your mobile device. So it's very easy to be out in the field and to uh, be out and update Notion. Um, but that's it, it's great. We've seen a sales CRM, we saw a personal CRM, we saw an advanced sales CRM. Um, and now that you've seen it in Notion, I would just for in giggles, I wanna just show you um, what it what does an actual CRM look like inside. So you, you can, you should, I would spend 20 bucks and play with an actual CRM so you know the differences of how to play with it, what it looks like. So when you go into Notion, you're like, oh, I know what I'm missing. I know what I should add here. You'll know how to customize it. it so for example, like this one's coming from like Pipedrive where it's a contact profile. You have the person's name, their email, their phone number. And then they have this feature where you can start a call right from the browser and do like FaceTime. So it's like features that you get and functionality, but you can see here, they have a place for their notes, their activity, their logs. You can also see the name, phone name, phone number, email and stuff like that. So you're replicating the same thing here with like name, phone number, email, stuff like that. So you can kind of see how it kind of, they are similar of what you could take the elements of from uh, an actual CRM, put it in there. For example, here's also a deal pipeline in, in or this is in pipe drive. So you can see all the different stages, the amounts, we can zoom in. Yeah, you can see the amounts, the deals, opportunities, the contacts and stuff like that. All of this is just like Notions where you have your CRM here, just like this. So you can see how Notion is very powerful to clone a lot of the functionality um, on the UI level of a CRM. Um, but then underneath, there's just a lot of automations, workflows, integrations with your email, your calendar. Um, that's really going to just unlock the productivity of your team. And then you get sales and dashboards and stuff like that. Um, so where does that leave us? You can download Notion today and use Notion for free. And then you can start using any of these two templates, uh, to get started to pretty much the goal is just to all to keep all the details of those contacts, deals, opportunities. Don't keep them in your head, put them in a tool. If you're using Notion, it's a great tool to just offload all that important information, personal CRM, and if it's a sales CRM there. So anyways, I'm Jonathan Acuna. If you're looking to grow your revenue and drive up your productivity using your CRM, you can click the link below and then reach out to my team. I would love to work with you. Anyways, I hope you have a blessed day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.